Hey everyone, welcome to Weld.com. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit like uh, and drop some comments below. So we're gonna be talking about getting comfortable in MIG welding from basics all the way up to like vertical and a little bit of overhead welding. This is for overhead people or vertical. Even on flat, I do this. You guys might think it's stupid, but it's really not. All right, you've got this MIG gun, you're hanging, it's hanging upside down or welding vertical, even welding flat. Well, you got all this weight coming off of. I take a horse or take something, a chair, throw that over there. That reduced half of that weight. It's getting off your shoulders. You're gonna get more comfortable. You're gonna weld further. That little bit of weight released off your shoulders will help you a lot. Guarantee you, I've done it lots of times. That's my personal ideal. I thought of that. Also, they make lighter liners. Instead of steel liners, they'll make aluminum liners. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter. That helps you. You're in a hard to reach place and you can't get up to it and you gotta extend your arms all the way out to get to it. And you don't have a big enough ladder. Grab that big boy. This will get you up there and you can be comfortable. But you basically be not standing on your tippy toes, on your heels, and you're just gonna go well just like that. This is very handy having your toolbox with you. If you're having problems getting the right angle, getting comfortable and everything, Put a conductor tube like this, you think it's all normal and everything. Well, it's not. Oh my God, I just broke it. But not, this is a flexible conductor tube. I have one of these in my toolbox all the time. My bucket went out, went out in the field welding. Very helpful. Because sometimes I can't squeeze in there properly. And I just bend this a little bit way, get my right angle, drag or push, whatever you're doing, and I can get in there. I mean, this came in handy a lot in the field for me. Uh, if you're welding vertical or overhead, get a clamp like this. And if you need to rest your elbow, bring this out like this, and you're resting like that. You can do the same thing on pipe. Just get a pipe clamp uh, or weld a tab to it. All right, this is more comfortable than this. All right, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get sparks over your, your hand, burn up your gloves, sparks all over your face, your helmet, ruin your lens, and you're gonna be like, ooh, hot, hot, hot. It's gonna go down your butt crack and stuff. So be comfortable, go like this. You can even weld a piece of metal to it. Do that, just grind it. Just grind it and smooth it out and make sure no one can't tell that something was there. The only thing they can see is a shiny spot. That's gonna help. This, I use plenty of times, guys. Use this. I usually put a thin glove on my right hand because I'm right-handed. Then I have a heavier duty glove when I'm welding like hot stuff on this hand. All right, you guys probably think this is stupid, but I like to feel my trigger. I like to feel everything in my hands. And I go like this. Take my other hand and protect it. Huh? That's a good trick, that's my trick. And I basically protect it, because I want to feel everything. I want to feel my gun, I want to feel everything. I want to have good motion. I like to have a nice tight glove on this. I don't do it all the time, but when I need to, I will use it. Just like that, that's a good trick. People starting out, people are always not tacking their plate down. They're going like this. They're taking their welding gun and going like this with one hand or starting out and welding like this and just weld with one hand. All right, tack this thing down and weld just like that. Don't be holding it with one hand and welding the whole time. Don't do that, it's bad, bad. I know these tips are gonna help you from beginners to experienced welders. I'm Man Cub, I'll see you guys next time. Learning is key. Make sure you go weld something every day.